guys, I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited about this video. Before I was a drum nerd, I was a PC nerd. And actually before I was a PC nerd, I was a bicycle nerd or just a nerd with no particular passion to exert my nerdness upon. But I got really into PCs when I was like, I think 14 or 15 years old. And I used to break, I used to break the family computer pretty much every week. Like I used to have to format the computer because I would mess up some system file while I tried to figure out something or learn more. So um, I had a wonderful teenage childhood breaking my family computer repeatedly and learning a lot about PCs in the process. And so I've always been a PC guy. Um, I've always loved building my own PC. And so last year when everything kind of tanked and everybody had to start doing way more work from home in their home studios, I hit up a few companies and I asked them if they would help me build like my dream PC. And that's why I'm so stoked about this video because I cannot wait to tell you guys more about this incredible machine behind me that I'm so excited about, so stoked about. I cannot believe this is in my studio right now. It is like my dream computer. I keep looking at it on the, the screen because it's just so pretty, man. Flap. Also, I'm not a tech influencer. You guys know that's not my thing. I play drums. I produce content that's about drumming and music. I think because of that, I'm even more thankful for the fact that I have this insane machine here. I'm not making this video to brag or to make anybody feel worse about themselves. I know it's so difficult to get your hands on components right now. It's like the worst time to build a PC. I give you full permission to live vicariously through me and to enjoy this machine as much as I do because I cannot tell you how excited I am and I would love to tell you guys about it. Okay, sweet, let's get into some specs. I'm gonna nerd out for a second. I'm so excited. This is an AMD based machine. It's running a AMD Ryzen 9 5900X CPU. I'm also using an ASUS ROG Crosshair 8 Dark Hero motherboard. The reason why I'm choosing that motherboard is because it has passive cooling. It doesn't have a heatsink fan, so it's very quiet. Obviously, I'm recording drums like four feet away from my computer, so the computer has to be as quiet as possible. I might actually water cool it at some point, that might be awesome, but for now, I feel like the motherboard and the ton of fans keeps it quite uh, enough for me to record drums right next to my workstation. Then for memory, I'm using Corsair Dominator Platinum RGB memory, I'm using four modules at eight gigabytes each for a total of 32 gigs of memory. Memory is running at 4,000 megahertz with a CL19 timing. The graphics card is a absolute beast. It is the EVGA 3090 FTW3 Ultra Gaming version. I love it, but it's kind of overkill for me because I don't really do 3D modeling or anything. I do some compositing. I think it helps a lot with um, 4K video editing. I don't like really utilize the entire memory bandwidth that it offers, but I'm still super thankful for this insane beast of a GPU and it's great for Minecraft. You know what I'm saying? Then for storage, I have two NVMe drives. The first one is my main drive for operating system and just program files. And that is a Western Digital Black SN850 one terabyte NVMe drive. And then my secondary NVMe drive is a Sabrent Rocket Q4 four terabyte NVMe drive. And I use this one for big video projects or when I'm recording audio. Then I have a third drive, which is not NVMe. It's just a regular 7200 RPM SATA drive. It's also Western Digital Black and it's also four terabytes, but like I said, it's not NVMe. I mostly use it for storage and backup and most of my projects that I'm currently working on, whether it be video or audio recording or music would be on one of the two NVMe drives, usually the four terabyte one, the Rocket Q4. Then in terms of cooling, I'm using an AIO or all-in-one cooler for the CPU. That is a Corsair IQ H150i Elite Capellix AIO. It's great. It's beautiful. I love the way that it looks. And I'm also using 10 Corsair IQ QL120 fans throughout the whole case to cool my system. I know tons of guys have strong opinions about RGB. Um, I know you non-RGB guys, I'd see you. I respect you. I fear you a little bit. Actually, you scare me just a little bit, but I'm a sucker for shiny lights, man. And also because the PC is visible behind me in the videos that I produce, I mostly produce drumming videos. I wanted the PC to kind of fit the aesthetic behind me, so that's why I just went all out on the RGB, like a, like a child. Just shiny lights to the max. Bring on the shiny lights. 
all of these amazing components are in a Lian Li O11 XL case. It's white, it's beautiful. It's like such an aesthetically pleasing case. And I'm also using a few additional uh, cosmetic pieces to just make it a little bit cleaner in my opinion. I'm using a motherboard tray as well as a backplate. And both of these are from a company called Cold Zero. And then this whole PC is powered by a beast of a PSU and it's the Asus ROG Strix G 850 watt power supply. Love it. In terms of peripherals, I'll just start with the monitor because I cannot get over this monitor. It's like my dream. It is an Asus ROG Swift PG35 VQ 35 inch ultra wide monitor. I cannot imagine at any point in my life going back to 16 by nine. Ultra wide is the jam. This one especially has unbelievable color accuracy. It's HDR, really high refresh rate. And so whether I'm gaming or doing audio production or video editing, I know the colors are accurate. I know there's enough screen space to record beautiful things. And I know it's just dope for games. Okay, I'm not gonna pretend like it's science. Gaming is rad. End of sentence. Then for my keyboard and my mouse is a Logitech G915 TKL. And my mouse is a Logitech G703 Lightspeed mouse with a custom white finish that I got from a company called Colorware. You can get more details in the description if you guys are curious. Then for audio, I'm using two Focal Shape 65 monitors. They are suspended on two Soundrise Pro 9 stands in a matte white finish. These monitors are connected to two Arturia AudioFuse 8 Pre interfaces. I love these interfaces. They're so clear, they're so transparent. I actually would love to produce a, a review just on the interfaces at some point too. So if you guys wanna see that, just let me know. Then for automation to control my studio, I use a Google Nest Mini. It's this little circular device behind me. It's great. It's such a game changer. Um, hey Google, light's red. It's, I can't get over it. I, I can't get over how rad that is. Check this out for a second. Hey Google, let's rock. Isn't that cool? That's cool. I mean, it's not like, it's not like cool, cool. It's like nerd cool. I'm all about things that are nerd cool. And then lastly, for streaming, I'm using an Elgato Stream Deck as well as a EVGA XR1 capture card. Flip, I'm, I'm so thankful that this is my computer. I, I'm not a tech YouTuber, like I don't do this for a living. So uh, for me, this isn't like a, like a typical brand sponsored video at all. And I know you probably didn't anticipate a little bit of an Oprah moment in the middle of a PC build video, but humor me for a second. It's crazy when I, when I put this PC together, how much it reminded me of being 15 again and just enjoying the simplicity of like building a thing and it's, it's yours and you're building it, it kind of took me back to the simplicity of being a teenager. So there's something that's so like therapeutic about using your hands to build the system that you use to make content with and create art with, especially in my case, record drums, record music, make videos. And so I'm so thankful to these companies who provided the gear that I could build this dream PC of mine. And I'm, I'm just so, so, so thankful. So I uh, just wanna send, I'm gonna read this cause I don't wanna forget anybody, but Asus, they provided so many components in this incredible monitor. Thank you so much, Asus, especially Juno. She's been incredible to work with. I'm so thankful. Corsair as well, Lian Li, the Soundrise Pro, these stands. If you wanna see any details on the components in this build, uh, there's a PC part picker link in the description below. Thank you so much to all of these companies for helping me build my dream PC. I'm so thankful to be a nerd. It makes me so happy <laughs> and I'm very thankful for this workstation. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video and um, I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.